It's a shot in the dark against COVID-19. This step forward is, of course, the production of a live vaccine. Tech this is the BCG, or Basile Kamet Geron vaccine, named for the scientists who developed it nearly a century ago to combat tuberculosis. Could it now help treat the new coronavirus? Scientists are racing to find out. It is a sense of urgency, and it is an urgency. Clinical trials are already underway here in the Netherlands at the Radboud University Medical Center. Previous studies have shown BCG can help boost immune systems against other infections, not just tuberculosis. Scientists hope it could also work against the coronavirus. I would call it cautious optimism. So there is a good chance that this would work, but just as well it could happen that coronavirus is very different and BCG vaccination cannot protect. Globally, BCG vaccination programs for tuberculosis vary widely. Some countries gave it to different age groups or across different time periods. Now, here in Germany, on that side of the wall, former East Germany started a nationwide vaccination program in 1951, a full decade before West Germany. Some researchers now wonder if there's a link between higher BCG vaccination rates and lower rates of COVID-19. A map of Germany's cases shows far fewer infections in the former East. There's a similar pattern between Portugal and Spain. Portugal still uses the vaccine. Spain stopped in 1981. Of course, there are many other factors at play, but the BCG link was strong enough for Gonzalo Otasu of the New York Institute of Technology to start researching. Countries that never implemented a BCG vaccination policy had higher death rates than countries that had a current BCG vaccination. This has strong correlation, but this is just a correlation. It does not mean that there is a causal relationship. In order to find if indeed there is a causal relationship, we need to have uh, clinical trials. With trials now underway in at least six countries, the World Health Organization is urging caution, saying it doesn't recommend BCG as there is no concrete evidence of coronavirus protection. Even if it's no magic bullet, any positive effects could help protect the most vulnerable, like healthcare workers or the elderly. Initial results from the Dutch study could arrive in a matter of months. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.